Okay guys, so here we have my decorated bookshelf. I'm going to show you the details. I've decorated like every single book has a sentiment and an image. And this one, as you can see, my mini cup of kindness and the Christmas tree that I used a puncher for. I love, love, love putting sentiments on the books. It's like the title of the books. And then the decorations um, help you kind of remember. So here is a gnome from Hello Bluebird. Such an amazing stamp. I love this so much. Sorry about that side on the left side because I'm using a light box. Um, so this one. Some Christmas trees. I think these Christmas trees are so, so cute with a button. Button. Here's one with flowers. And I think they're so easy to make. You just staple them and open them up as necessary. And so now we're going to look at how this is decorated. I think this is so, so cute. I think this is such an amazing idea for gift or swaps. And in January, we're going to have a mini book swap for PHA. Let me know if you want to join. Um, we have a group in Facebook called PHA Crafters. You are definitely welcome to join if you want to join the swap. Um, but I think think that's where we're going to be putting the information my friend christina will be coordinating and leading that swap anywho so let's start with this itty bitty chubby one and i used some doodle pops and this one this has some paper tassels with um eraser charms i think these are so so cute I love them. I got the charms from Starbucks and some of the charms, um, the eraser charms. These two, the first two ones are from Target and this one is from my friend Devi as well as the snowman is from my friend Devi. I thought these are so cute. I hope that my recipient loves this and I hope she's not watching this video. <laughs> If she is, I hope she likes it. So this one has a lot of sentiments. These have a lot of COVID sentiments that's inside. Um, I got this from a paper collection called The New Normal. And I got this from scrapbook.com. I know you can buy it uh, individually per sheet. So this one is a stamped image from the Doodlebug stamp. A Doodlebug stamp set. So I love Love, love using my Copics for that. All of these stamped images, I use Copics. And this is a sticker. All these papers are from Doodlebug. And I got them from uh, my friend Michelle, who is through CraftsChicks.com. I'm also giving my recipient a boatload of beads. As you can see, I got these from Tuesday Morning and Joann's. Yeah, it's a mix of Tuesday Morning and Joann's. And I hope that she loves... I'm going to send her this um, bookshelf. And I hope she loves it because I know she loves Doodlebug. Here's some more stickers. And this one, I love putting stitch marks. These are an assortment of some more embellishments that she can use to make charms. And I got them from a mix of Hobby Lobby and also joanne's so here's another book i love that the shelf is filled with amazing books that have different um goodies in them cute sticker bear from one of the doodlebug christmas collections i don't remember which one here's some additional charms that she can use and she can play with i thought these are so cute the gumdrops and the peppermint and some I think lollipops. So I'm going to put them back. I just, uh, I think these are so, so cute to kind of give and receive. And I'm imagining that we're, we all have our own bookshelf. And when we do a swap, we have a variety of books from different friends. Here's another Doodle Pop. I can't believe I used Doodle Pops in a project. I thought it was worth it so cute and this one has a bracelet um in the end all product i added some decorated paper clips in that book 
here's a coffee cup i love coffee cups and punched flowers and these um, sentiments i got from felicity jane last year this is a sequence mix and most of these are from um, creative mojo studio i'm gonna put her link down below Oriel sent me those um, shaker charms, shaker bits. They're so absolutely gorgeous. Here's another book. It's called Today. And then some stickers in the front that's decorated. And inside is an ornament truck. So, so cute. I thought it would be so cute. Um, I hope my recipient loves this bookshelf. Here's another one. Is another book called Remember. And here's a sticker. It says lovely details. And inside are some holiday erasers. They're so cute. She gave me her own charms. I love the Santa. I love the Santa face on that one. This book is called Hope. And it's just in the front moment. I love the stitching so much. It's absolutely fabulous. And this one has flare buttons. And all these are from Three Crafts Chicks, you guys. Three Crafts Chicks have a lot of Doodlebug products. Um, as well as Urban Gems. I'm going to be linking all of them below. Um, so, here you go. This is what it looks like. The entire bookshelf. So, I hope that this encourages you to use your own... Uh, your own... Um, scrapbook products to create your own bookshelf here's some mini cups of kindness and i am putting some covid phrases and then this one i'm going to give away as a um, christmas tree ornament to some friends to mark their 2020 this one i used some papers from andreabethke.com and i think this is from her making christmas collection I'll put a link on that one down below as well. And the same Christmas tree as I was featuring before. It's a Fisker's Punch that I got from a D-Stash. So, so cute. I love the punch flowers. And I also used Nuva Drops and I got that from Urban Gems. I love this gnome stamp. I love it so very much. And this is my favorite template for the mini cup of kindness. So, so cute. Um, Here's... I don't know why I'm showing you all these snowflakes, but here are more products that I used um, for Doodlebug. So cute. It's just a chunky snowflake that I got from... It used to be like a snowflake garland from the 99 cent store. No, no. Yes, it's from the 99 cent store. Five snowflakes, five chunky snowflakes in one garland. And I tore it apart and then I decorated each and every snowflake. I thought it was so cute, especially the gnome ones with snow. I thought it's absolutely adorable. And my friend Gina gave me those um, tool with snow. I couldn't find it in my Dollar Tree for some reason. Hopefully, hopefully I find it in the near future. And so here's another one. And this is a die from KS Crafts. I love it so much. I hope you can check it out. It's so cute and so appropriate with the times. And I've never seen a mask die ever before. And they have so many gnome dies. I love, love, love the gnomes. And they also have um, some COVID sentiments on them. I thought that was so, so cute. Take care of each other. Stay six feet apart. I think this would be so cute as a tag. Wash your hands. Wouldn't this be so cute as a gift tag? This one doesn't have a sentiment yet. I thought it would be so cute and funny to put them in your presents. Contactless delivery. And this one has no sentiment yet. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I love, love, love gnomes. Oh, looks like I'm putting a sentiment on this guy. Um, I love that they have... All you can see is their noses. I think it's so funny. Um, so, oh, how cute. And this one says... We're all in this together. I think that's a song, isn't it? But look how cute that is. We're on this together. I thought it was so cute. And um, I'm, I think I was showing you 
I was just doing a massive project share of everything that I've created so far very recently. I'm just so excited to have finished my bookshelf and I'm ready to be sending this to a friend. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful crafty day. Take care guys. Stay safe. This is Christian signing off. Au revoir. Bye.